So when you meditate on impermanence, you start out with the big recognizable ways that things change. Uh, buildings crumble, relationships end, markets crash, um, new diseases appear, which we've learned recently. Um, but, war but wars also end, diseases get cured, uh, the sick recover often, and people fall in love. So through impermanence, you learn to see an object, not just how it appears at this moment, but along the entire arc from its inception to its demise. They say, you'll have to try it for yourself, but they say that it calms and it readies us for the big changes in life that inevitably occur. So the reason we contemplate impermanence is to gradually become more accepting of change, both outside and inside ourselves.